the disease or not. But for some reason, when you have mental illness, people challenge that thought. People question you whether you really have it or not, whether it's something they can believe in, which only makes the effects even worse. Um, Ruby Wax from TED Talks had said if she had a broken bone, she would have had cards and sympathy and like lots of people feeling bad for her, but because she doesn't have an x-ray to show when she has her mental breakdown, people just told her to perk up, like as if she didn't already think of that. And then in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Nurse Ratched, the leader of the ward, she had this way of therapy that actually was pretty mentally humiliating. She would bring up the records of patients and expose them, and it was so harmful that people would just get this terrible sense of shame and one of the patients, Jimmy, actually after months and months of her making him feel terrible, ended up killing himself. So there are adverse effects to making people feel bad and guilty for their mental illness, rather than just accepting what they have and almost making them feel better. And in the bell jar, um, Esther, she has severe depression. And when she finally goes to get help from Dr. Gordon, she is dismissed. He isn't even listening to her. He doesn't even care. You would expect that even a psychiatrist would have respect for mental illness, but not really. And as a result, she tried to drown herself. And she feels, even when she is better and she finally sees a psychiatrist that helps her, she feels as if the bell jar of her illness is constantly on top of her. It could drop at any time. So relapse is a really possible thing. So it's good to treat people with respect and positivity rather than that negative connotation. And psychiatrists in society aren't the only ones guilty of this because in the movie Sybil, this girl has multiple personality disorder and she's suffering terribly. Like she can't function at work and when she finally opens up to her parents about it, they dismiss her and almost get angry that she brought it up. So it's important to respect people. And I find an issue too for some reason, when you have some type of physical injury or you're sick, attendance at school is really no big deal. People think, oh, you're sick, that's okay. But if you have depression or anxiety or some type of mental illness that prevents you from even being able to get out of bed, people blame you. So I believe that we should stand up and end the stigma that's towards mental illness because the stigma is only making it harder for these people to get better. And once that's over, we can progress towards finally being okay.